But first, from our 8 News Now investigators, the Valley Homes searched in connection to the Tupac Shakur murder investigation nearly 27 years after his death. Thanks for joining us here at 6. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. Metro Police confirming they searched a home as part of their ongoing work to solve who killed the rapper and hip hop icon. 8 News Now investigator David Charns breaking this story. David, what are you learning tonight? Right, Denise, sources telling Bay News Now investigators this search involves Dwayne Davis, also known as Keith D. Davis speaking publicly about the night Tupac died in videos on YouTube and in a book. It's a murder that shocked the world of music. 25-year-old Tupac Shakur shot four times inside this BMW in this intersection near the Las Vegas Strip in September 1996. He would die from his injuries six days later. ADU's now investigator Vanessa Murphy speaking exclusively with paramedics in 2016. We brought the gurney brought up, up, over, just pulled him out, mm -hmm. pulled him out, um, and that's when, you know, that's when I, everybody was yelling. Um, Tupac, Tupac. Over the last 27 years, Metro Police have made no arrests, suspecting a rival gang targeted the rapper after a Mike Tyson fight. Someone in another car shot Shakur. The question, after all these years remaining, who was it? Sources telling the 8 News Now investigators Tuesday the warrant served at a home in Henderson Monday involves 60 year old Dwayne Davis, also known as Keith D. He's made several public statements about a possible shooter. Sources say detectives may have been looking for writings or documents connected to a book Davis recently published. People at the home declined to comment Tuesday, warning things could escalate should we stay outside or record them. Right now, nobody is in custody, and a quarter century later, police have never filed charges in this case, a case Metro says it is determined to solve. I'm David Charns, 8 News Now. Our CBS affiliate in Los Angeles reporting Davis is on tape confessing to being in the car with the shooter. Nevada does not have a statute of limitations in murder cases.